Markus Andresen. Yes, thank you and welcome from uh, my side. I would say that on the horizontal issues, climate, biodiversity and gender, uh, first of all, European citizens are expecting a lot from all of the institutions. And of course, we all agree on the principles on how important these questions are for the development in the uh, European Union. Uh, but we need uh, to see the German presidency uh, moving on, on these kind of questions a lot. And um, for us in the European Parliament, it's also a question uh, about uh, do we act like we are preaching or do we uh, just preach some nice uh, speeches about the uh, about these kind of questions without acting we all agree on that we will have an ambitious climate law in some months we all agree on the green deal and we all agree on the principle on how important gender equality is for the European Union but we need to see some more action and this means for us when it comes for climate, for example, to integrate the so-called do no harm principle in the interinstitutional agreement we are negotiating, climate harming projects should be kicked out of the European budget and we need the do no harm principle to ensure that this will happen. We are fighting for a biodiversity spending target. You all know that um, on biodiversity we are not just talking about climate uh, spending but we have have also a crisis related to the biodiversity and some of the member states like France had fought for that and uh, the parliament had uh, brought up the 10% biodiversity spending target uh, back in the negotiations after the council weren't willing in um, agreeing on a biodiversity spending target and this is really key for us uh, to ensure that on biodiversity the strategy the commission is coming up with the biodiversity strategy 2030 with the goal of 20 billion spending for biodiversity will become reality. It's not enough just to agree on the strategy. We need to ensure that it will be part of the budget and this is what we are fighting for and this is where we need to see the German presidency move. And the last uh, one of, of these elements I would like to mention here is on the gender equality. Uh, on the gender equality, it has been part of the European Union and about about uh, the work also related to the budget for many years, but we are not uh, seeing any kind of uh, satisfying development. And uh, right now where COVID is uh, taking place and where we know that COVID actually is hitting gender differently, we need to see some more action. And this is why we are fighting for a gender impact assessment related to, uh, to the interinstitutional agreement. And this is why we need to have uh, some more action there and uh, to become much more concrete also related to the gender impact related to the programs we are uh, having in the uh, European budget and uh, of course also related uh, to these kind of elements we had some development in the last uh, weeks in the meetings we had with the German presidency but as it is now it's not enough and we really need to ensure that we are not just talking but that we also have the possibility that we have some mechanisms to ensure some development there in the next uh, uh, next years uh, through the MFF and this is yeah basically what we are fighting uh, for and now